Colors bring joy to our lives. As they are one of the founding blocks of our physical realm. Although the colors are everywhere, we rarely pay attention to the spiritual significance of it. Colors are associated to human consciousness and that also signifies our aura. Today I'd like to show you my recent art journal that I made for myself. I've used some junk envelopes and an old shirt for my journal cover. And because I wanted to use this journal as my art journal or a traveler's art journal, I wanted to have big pockets so I used the envelope pockets for storage and I can keep my paintbrush, my pens or even my colors as well. I've made three signatures in this journal. One using the thick mixed media or watercolor paper. The second one is made of simple copy paper for sketching. And the last one is made of some coffee dyed paper, tea dyed paper music paper and book pages for some scrapbooking and collaging. I've also managed to have a big horizontal pocket at the back cover and that's perfect for my watercolor set. Although the journal is quite simple and was very easy to make, I really like how it turned out as a traveler's art journal to carry it with me when I want. The prompt on the journal cover is a reminder for me to be patient as I sometimes rush to finish my artwork. Whereas in true sense, Art teaches us that good things take time. So learn to be patient and to have the best things in life. Although I'm a beginner when it comes to painting, I'm really loving the learning process. Today I'm doing a mixed media project and will try to make a forest or garden full of vibrant colors and full of life as you were just talking about it. I've primed my page with a layer of gesso and while it is drying, I'm preparing a tissue for my base. I've got this tissue from some packaging and I'm using archival ink to stamp on it for background. As I will be using a lot of water on it, archival ink will ensure that it won't bleed through.
I want to use a lot of colors today, especially the colors that bring healing and magic to have a garden bursting with life. I'm gluing my tissue with the matte gel medium. And as I am still learning to be patient, I'm using my heat gun to make the drying process faster. I'm also using a stencil and some texture paste to add a bit more interest to the page. I didn't have the texture paste so I just made it myself. By just mixing the baby powder and the gesso. That works just fine. I think I have added too much color as I was in the colorful zone today. Every color is special and brings its own unique quality into our lives. We can use those colors in our day-to-day -day life to nurture the qualities that we wish to acquire. For example, green is associated to healing, whereas blue is a color of spirituality. Gold is another most powerful healing color. And similarly, every color has its own spiritual significance. And we can use them to our advantage to have similar qualities. Color is a power which directly influences the soul. And that's why colors are given utmost importance in chakra meditation. I thought of bringing some natural elements to this art piece. So I'm adding a few dried flowers to bring more life into this garden. Back of my mind, I know, I might end up making it messy, but I guess I'm okay with that. A beautiful garden is incomplete without butterflies, so I'll add a few. And finishing with a coat to remember that inspiration is all around you. Like Matisse once said, color helps to express light, not the physical phenomena, but the only light that really exist, that's in the artist's brain. To heal our mind and soul and to have a happy life, we need to welcome all the colors into our lives, absorb their energy consciously and leave the rest to the universe as it makes things fall into the right place eventually.
we see the colors as they are reflected. So let's try and be a rainbow in someone's life.